We're going to get started, everybody, with a little discussion about what happened last Friday in uh, Judge Friedlich's court. This is the judge in the Washington, the federal court judge in Washington, D.C., that was hearing the case brought by the Landlords Association of the state of Alabama. These are the folks that challenged uh, the reinstitution by the CDC of the in eviction moratorium. And while this thing looked like a lock uh, to be overturned because the Supreme Court's previously ruled on this, the judge on technical grounds had to side with the Biden administration keeping the eviction moratorium, the I don't know, we call it eviction moratorium number six in place, uh, at least temporarily. The judge did not like the decision she had to make, but she had previously been overruled by the district court uh, that covers the District of Washington, D.C., uh, that mid-Atlantic area. Um, and she suggested that the Landlord Association take the case up again at the circuit court level, the, the, the appellate court level. There's three levels uh, in federal court. There's what's called the, the, the regular judge or the federal court judge, the district judge. Then there's like 10 appellate districts, like nine or 10 or 11, something like that appellate districts, uh, they're called circuit courts, and then there's the Supreme Court above that. Ultimately, at the end of the day, Supreme Court's in charge. Um, now, conversely, at the same day, the Supreme Court struck down the state of New York's eviction ban that went beyond what the federal government through the CDC had implemented. So this thing is all over the place. Um, I think by this morning, the district court or the circuit court that covers the mid-Atlantic area of the United States will probably have an emergency hearing from, uh, once again, the uh, Alabama Landlords Association who brought this case to begin with. So this thing's still up in the air. And the way this thing works is you can rarely just go directly to the Supreme Court unless there's an extremely pressing need. You've got to go first through the district court, then to the circuit court, the court of appeals, and then to the Supreme Court. So we'll keep everybody up to speed, uh, you know, as these things change, and they seem to change on a daily basis right now. So uh, for now, the, the CDC's reinstitution uh, in violation of the Supreme Court ruling on this matter is still in place. So the eviction moratorium is back on. Um, and for right now, at least it will be on for probably at least the next 10 days, a week to 10 days until it gets on up to the Supreme Court level. So we'll see what happens.